Hello, welcome to Arvindsing Academy and we are going to discuss some questions uh, because uh, we are discussing some problems and uh, now uh, this is exercise number 3.2 exercise 3.2 and question number what we wanted to discuss today from 4 in previous lecture, we had discussed the remaining questions and definitely you will be able to understand it. Uh, now, from this uh, exercise, I am going to solve from question number 4 only. So, in question number 4, it is given that which of the following pair of linear equation, following pair of linear equation, pair of linear equations, which of the following pair of linear equations are consistent? Consistent or inconsistent? Inconsistent, right? If consistent, obtain the solution graphically. If consistent, obtain the solution graphically. Obtain the solution graphically. Right. So, here is a question and uh, the first question is given here that is first question from this area is x plus y is equal to 5 and 2x plus 2y is equal to 10. Here, uh, these are two parallel lines here a1 by a2 is 1 by 2 b1 by b2 is also 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 is 1 by 2 and therefore system is consistent system is consistent consistent now we have to find the solutions graphically so this uh, this will represent two coincident lines so let me uh, draw the graph of this two, there will be two coincident lines, so we can write here. And uh, we will draw lines like uh, two parallel lines, and that will be. So let us calculate there is x and y if x is equal to 0, y is 5, and if y is equal to 0, x is 5 and put the equations that will satisfy so here the two lines will be there and that will be 5 0 and 0 5 so system has infinite many solutions you can have this is y this is x you know and that will be origin so system can have because two coincident lines are there and therefore system has infinite solution now let us see the question number second and what is this question number second? Question number second is x minus y is equal to 8 and 3x minus 3y is equal to 16. Here a1 by a2 is 1 by 3, b1 by b2 is also 1 by 3, but c1 by c2 is 1 by 2. So here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. So these will represent two parallel lines and therefore the system is the system is inconsistent, is inconsistent, an inconsistent equation has no solution, so no need to find it, right? Now question number 3, uh, see question number 3 is there, and question number 3 is 2x plus y minus 6 is equal to 0, and 4x minus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Here also a1 by a2 is equal to here a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 because a1 by a2 is 1 by 2 and b1 by b2 is minus 1 by 2. So these are not equal and therefore system is consistent and has unique solution. System is consistent, you know, consistent. Now to uh, find the solution of this, we have to draw a graph and graph will be like a 2x plus y is equal to 6. We can make plot a graph here. Say this will be the graph 
I'm plotting here, and uh, that will be for this will be x axis and y axis. So, like uh, this is x and this is y. Let me plot the graph, and uh, we have to make a table. So, you can prepare your own table. There is no problem, right? And uh, we have three tables, three values. Now, so these are the tables which I have made, and 2x plus y is minus 6. The first equation is 2x plus y is minus 6. That is 2x plus y is minus 6 uh, is equal to 0. So we can write y is equal to 6 minus 2x. So, x and y is there. If I put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 6. But if I put x is equal to 0, 3, y is equal to 0. So, 0, 6 and um, 3, 0. The second equation was 4x minus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. So, in that case, 4x is equal to, uh, you can write it and divide by 2, simply. And that will be in this case y is equal to 2x minus 2. So if I put uh, x is equal to 0, x and y, if I put x is equal to 0, y is minus 2. And if I put uh, y is equal to 0, then x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So that will come up uh, what negative of y axis I haven't made here. Uh, so I can take another value and uh, now if I took x is equal to 2 then y is equal to 2 also. If I took x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 4, 4 minus 2 is 2, y is 2. So there will be uh, points like 0, 6, 0, 6 will be somewhere like this say and 3, 0 will be just half of this. So 3, 0 will be like this. So if I plot a graph of this. 0, 6 and 3, 0, the line will be like this, line will be like this, passing through this, right now. and uh, x is 2, y is 2, and x is 1, y is 0, x1, y0 is this point, x1 and y0 is this point, so if there is a point like this, 1, 2, 3, so x1, y0, and x2, y2, x2, y2, x is 2, y is 2, so x2, y2 is there only. So the line will be like this and uh, that will intersect like point of intersection will be 2 comma 2 because if you put x is equal to 2, 2 to your 4 plus 2, 6 minus 6, 0. So, point of intersection is 2 comma 2 and therefore x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2 is solution. Which solution? I hope you got it. Now, the next question uh, is there and that question is, let me write here a question, but uh, for that this should be clear request. The question number is 4. And the fourth question is of this category, fourth, fourth part of fourth question, 2x minus 2y is equal to 2 and uh, 4x minus 4y is equal to 5, say like this. So here 2 by 4 and this is also uh, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 but that is not equal. So here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2. And therefore, system is inconsistent. System is inconsistent. And inconsistent has no solution. How to write this? Because here a1 by a2 is nothing else but 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2. And b1 by b2 is minus 2 by minus 4 that is also 1 by 2. But c1 by c2 is 2 by 5. So, they are not equal. I hope you got it. Now let us write question number 5, half of the perimeter of a rectangle, half of the perimeter, also note down simultaneously, perimeter of 
a garden a rectangular garden a rectangular garden garden whose length is 4 meter whose length is 4 meter whose length is 4 meter more than its width more than its width its width right width and uh, age 36 meter age 36 meter what is 36 meter perimeter find the dimension of dimension of garden garden this is a question so you can uh, write here length age 4 meter more than width so we can assume it let width h width h b and b is x meter and length l h y meter right so x plus 4 but that will be only one variable length is l width is b and length is l simply write it width is b and length is l so according to question it is given that length is 4 meter more than width so length minus width is equal to 4 meter b that will be 4 meter this is equation 1 also perimeter is 36 given here see perimeter of that is 36 so perimeter of rectangle is 2 times of L plus B is equal to 36 and therefore L plus B is equal to 18. This will be the equation, right? Now uh, we can solve it algebraically. So it is given that L plus B is equal to 12, L plus B is 18 and L minus B is equal to 4. So if I add these two then 12 will be 22 and L will be what? L will be 11. Length will be 11. And now since L plus B is equal to 18, L plus B is 18 and L is 11. So B must be 7. So B is 7. It means length of garden, length of garden is garden is 11 meter and width is 7 meter that is the answer of this question i hope you got it okay now uh, moving to question number six we have question number six given the linear pair of given the linear equation the linear equation given the linear equation 2x plus 3y minus 8 2x plus 3y minus 8 is equal to 0 write another linear equation another linear equation write another linear equation in two variable in two variable such that such that the geometrical representation the geometrical representation representation of the pair of the pair so formed so formed is First, there is a condition given that uh, it is an intersecting line, intersecting line, second edge, parallel line, lines, and third one edge, 
coincident line coincident line ठीक है so reverse this is the intersecting lines 2x plus 3y minus 8 is equal to 0 so solution can be written as like 2x plus 2x is first line is given 2x plus 3y minus 8 2x plus 3y minus 2x plus 3y minus 8 is equal to 0 so we can write 2x plus 3y is equal to 8 that would be 2x plus 3y is equal to 8 let me write 2x plus 3y is equal to 8 this is the first equation any equation which is in not form of a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 say x plus y is equal to 2 these two are intersecting lines so for first solution first answer since here a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 and therefore it will be it is intersecting lines intersecting lines right so any uh, there is not definite answer it can have infinite number of answers anything can be written now 2x plus 3y second part is 2x plus 3y is equal to 8 and we want parallel lines isn't it in second one we want parallel lines and what is the condition for parallel lines condition for parallel lines is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 so there 4x plus 6y is equal to 1 you can write it now here also since here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 here except as 16 anything can be written and all will be parallel lines so therefore it is parallel lines right now the third part of this is uh, that is coincident lines so any multiple of 2x plus 3y is equal to 8 and any multiple of this will be coincident line like uh, if i write two times then 2x plus 6 say two times then it will be 4x plus 6y is equal to 16 since here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 and therefore they are coincident lines coincident lines we can write it right isn't it even 3x 3 9y and 24 that will be also answered so any multiple of that will be answered so i hope you got it now moving for question number 7 question number 7 what is that so question number 7 is given that draw the graph of equation draw the graph of equation equations x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0. Determine, determine the coordinates, coordinates of the vertices of a triangle, of the vertices of a triangle, triangle formed by these lines formed by these lines and lines and the x-axis and the x-axis and said the triangular region and said the triangular triangular region and this is what the question said the triangular region okay I hope um, we will do that now x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 so let me draw the graph of this first I should make table of it 
x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. This is what. So, we can write y is equal to x plus 1 and we can make graph of it, table for it. So, if I am going to make table of it, we will have like this. So, there are two lines 3x plus 2y minus 12. Another line is 3x minus 2y. 3x minus 2y is equal to 12. 3x minus plus 2y is equal to 12. 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. Okay. So, we can write here uh, y is equal to, uh, if I put here say x and y, if I put x is equal to 0, y is 1. And if x is equal to minus 1, then y is equal to 0. So, that will be two lines here also x and y are there and if I will put x is equal to 0 then y is equal to 6 and y is equal to 0 then x is equal to 4. So, we need x maximum 4 and 2 minus 1. So, here graph can be plot by using this fact like uh, this is a line. Okay. Now, this is a line and we can make it like so. we can make it like this is y y dash x and x dash we end it. Now the x 0 y 1 x 0 y 1 if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be there, isn't it? So, if I will write like this, that will be, 6 will be somewhere like this, say 6, x 0, y 6 and x 4, y 0. So, if I will plot the graph of this, then what will come? See, uh, graph of this will coming like x6 y 4 will be like this and that is x is equal to 6 and y is 0 this point will be that will be 0 comma 6 x0 y 6 and this point will be 4 comma 0 so, x is 4 and y is 0. x is 4 and y is 0. So, that line is nothing else but this line is 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. Now, the next one is 0y1 will be somewhere like this. Here is a point and x minus 1 and y 0 that will be like this. So, this line will be another line that is say this one is a line which will be like this this is x0 and y minus 1 the point is x0 and y minus 1 x minus 1 y0 and that point is x0 y1 so, these are the two point of intersection. If you will see, the point of intersection will come like uh, x is equal to the point of intersection will be like uh, um, this one say that will be um, if I plot this say the point of intersection will be like will be the point of intersection and uh, that will be also point of intersection. So, if you look for this point of intersection, you will get this edge, nothing else, but it will be In the point of intersection is like so that will be x is here 2 and y is 3 so that will be 2 comma 3 that will be 
point of intersection and this line is x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. So, point of intersection is 2 comma 3 and therefore x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 is the solution, is solution, solution. So, what we need to find out here that said the region and write the triangular point, triangular point of uh, this triangle. So, we can write 2, 3 is one of the vertices. So, I can mark this as 2, 3 and that will be A and this will be B and that will be C. So, points of vertices are A, B, C. A, B, C is a triangle and uh, say, let me write here B is in, in B here, that will be B and that is C. So, vertices of, vertices of triangle R that is A 2 comma 3 B 4 comma 0 and C is minus 1 comma 0. Now we have to set this region. So to set this region we can use a pencil of light color and uh, that will be mm, like here. So that pencil of light color I can use and make it like this. So, that will be in that color, say green, yes, green can be taken. So, I am taking this as a green color and that will be the centered region. So, these are the triangles. I have made it. So, this is the centered region and uh, you can make it like this. There is no problem. Right. So, this is a set at region. You can use it like this. Or even marker can be also taken here. Yes, this is the set at region. So, I have made this set at region. We can I hope you got it. Okay. So, that is a triangle and uh, this is all about uh, this uh, questions from this topic and I hope you uh, understood each and everything. Triangle of vertices. So, vertices of triangles are this and uh, ABC is set region. Set area of set region of a, B, C, H, mid, mount, right? So that will be point. We have this one, watch. So that is 2 and 3. So no problem. I think so far uh, you got it. This all uh, about uh, this exercise. And uh, in next class, we will discuss some more right uh, concept. And uh, we will continue the same. Uh, with uh, now solution of linear equation in algebraic method. Uh, there are three methods that is method of substitution, cross multiplication and method of elimination. So, we will discuss one by one them uh, from the next class. Till then, God bless you. Keep watching and share this channel as well. And if you want to download our app that is Movisala, you can download it from uh, Play Store and use our code ARSA2020. In suit code, this is in suit code, and if you put it, you will see the app. And uh, through app, there is a video class in which uh, we are providing um, study materials and uh, regular tests, online tests, and uh, ebooks as well. So it will be better, very good courses are there. So if you want to uh, go through that app and want a complete study package, comprehensive study package, then definitely it will be benefited to you. And by using this app, you can study anywhere, anytime, um, according to your convenience. And uh, there are some expert teachers who will take the class, and video is also available there. So, hopefully, you will enjoy this um, video and uh, you have understood each and everything in this topic. So, God bless you. Keep watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, refer to your friends to subscribe this channel as well. God bless.